Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Avangel, and today we're taking a look at the brand new trailer for the 2024 MSFS announced video, which kind of surprised us all and jumped out. Now, we haven't got a lot of information yet, but there's a lot we can glean from this trailer that really tells us what this is at its core, what to expect. Plus, we got an FAQ from Asobo and Microsoft giving us some insight into really what we can expect. We can only speculate, really, but... There's a lot of information we can see that gives us some interesting insights. We'll find out, of course, more in the coming days and weeks and months. But for now, this is really cool. I'm excited. Let's take a look. So we're going to take a look at the trailer together and I'll give you my thoughts on what we're seeing so far. So obviously, ESRB ratings. Very important. We need to focus on those. Now, what do we get? Obviously, same sort of development pathway. We have a Sobo. We have Xbox Game Studios. Nothing new there. Now, we'll touch on the FAQ stuff in a moment that we've found out since, but this is what we first saw. Now, a career in aviation, missions or career mode is what we're thinking. I'm thinking missions for certain because whilst this is cool, and that's a 415, nice, this will be awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm loving this, like actual scenario missions. I'm guessing the whole world will not look like this. Obviously, this is going to be something that we're going to see if we look back at this sort of scene. This will most likely be like it was in FSX when we had areas of the map or the world that were better looking when the missions took place. You know, they tarted up airports, tarted up areas. Those bits looked better. I suspect we will have bits like this where the missions happen, where it will look this good. I do not think the entire world will look like this. Otherwise, we'd all have quantum computers. Let's be realistic here. They're not making the whole planet like this. There'll be areas. Which is fine. That's, that's perfect. Areas you're going to get close to for a mission. I can see it looking like this. That's a good thing. Definitely see that being a, an option. Um, it's going to make the missions really cool. Because when you're super close to these places for the mission, it will look amazing. And that will be awesome. Now, obviously, things like the guy on the side of the helicopter there. Now, we don't know who these are by. Because are some of these by a Sobo themselves? Are they by third parties? They've had third party stuff in from the core early on. And I think that's what we might see here. Because one of the FAQ points raised is that aircraft from FS 2020 will work in 2024. So the base code of the sim is going to be roughly the same. My estimation here is that we're going to see like a P3D evolution, right? We're going to see huge graphical improvements and performance improvements, along with enhancements to graphics and performance, abilities to do new things with the sim. However, the core, let's call it flight dynamics module or aircraft modules will be the same uh again largely between graphical differences fs 2004 fsx weren't that dissimilar just capabilities were different will that mean we could have 2024 aircraft that are going to be better than current maybe i don't think so though because the 2021s are pretty darn good now to this point obviously is this the cowan sim helicopter it might be who knows it could be an asobo one let's keep looking I do like the rescue mission, so that's a really cool option. I'm not holding a helicopter that steady. I can guarantee that for you. The rig, this feels like the rig missions from FSX. I guarantee we'll see some of the FSX missions brought back because they're nostalgic, they're classic, they're awesome to that we got involved in back then. This does look like the, the Karen Sim, but look at the ropes movement. That's cool. There's actual behavior on the ropes. Now, this is a cool scene to look at because... The lighting in the simulation is definitely a lot better. A lot better. There are reflections. There's um, the hue is off is different. We're seeing a lot of different tones uh, with how this is set up, and I, I guarantee probably a sober caravan here with a medical interior, which is still cool. Totally down for that. Um, but it does seem to have HDR and, and more bloom to everything. There's a lot more kind of realism to the graphics, the, the reflections, the lighting. Biggest thing is the lighting. Um, comparison GTA 4 GTA 5 one of the biggest differences was the lighting engine a lot of the models are the same the lighting engine made a huge difference so a new lighting engine will make a world of difference in the sim overall for us and might actually perform better but we're seeing a focus on other countries as well here which is cool and look at the modeling of the actual characters that's a really cool thing again this will be like an area we'll see but as a stock airport this is really cool and we're seeing one of the ag tractors there a new pilot models potentially obviously all these little video things are going to be if you look in the background this is a great example here look at the detail in the foreground here 
Look at the background. This looks like 2020 in the background. Almost the same. Obviously different lighting, but these camera shots are going to be very, very misleading. This isn't in-game footage. This is cinematic footage. This may not even be what it'll look like. It may not look this good. There may not be this level of animations. Maybe there will, but, you know, it's plausible actually looking back at that last clip there that level of detail in a game is more than possible look at the, the the photo mapping there add a couple of extra rocks in places is what it looks like compared to what we normally see all that looks like 2020 down there yeah there's enhancements in mission areas that's that's obviously something we'll see enhanced mission areas the grass looks the same the lighting looks different this does look like the cow sim though but the actual, the modelling and animation of the p players makes me think, oof, that, yeah, let's mow a few down. Um, the animations of the players is going to be, uh, the, the characters are going to be quite interesting. A lot of better animations to the various NPCs walking around. Interesting to see the Beluga. A400M's cool. Also, I have a friend working out at McMurdo. Yes. You're a dispatcher. The charter missions, the missions in general and career mode potentials are really, really exciting. I like how that's looking. I do like what we're seeing in terms of pilots. That's cool, though, because maybe we'll see more options for pilots, more customization for pilots. Um, that would be really exciting to be able to, because if there's a career mode, maybe we can customize our character more than just picking one of four, which would be really nice. So what do we have here? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's the surveillance version of that. Just cool. And this, I swear, is the Got Friends. This has to be the Got Friends one. It only just came out. If they're including in 2024, that would speak to, you know, it being involved. And it looks exactly like it. I would be shocked if it wasn't. This would be cool, though, at A10. That's unusual for them to include a warplane. Well, not really, because we've had technically the F-18. But different. And this feels like the one we already have. Not sure, it might not be, but look at the weather cycling, in fact, in that last clip. That was exciting to look at, because we see... Okay, cut past that. Is that... That's not a gun, is it? That doesn't look like the gun. That looks like it's got some sort of camera in the front. Which would be sad if they neutered the A-10, but... Yeah, that's not a barrel, that's a, a lens of some kind, that's weird. What did they do to my baby? We look at the weather, we've got summer, and you can see there the same kind of photometry rendering that we're seeing from the current sim. Same sort of trees. More variation in foliage, though. That's the cool thing. More variation in the trees, which is nice. Even in the winter. So we're seeing more of the same sort of thing. The balloons are cool. That's exciting. More animals, although again, it could just be a pre-rendered animation. It does have a lot of interesting potential to it that I'm quite excited by. I'm not sure what it means, but it is interesting. Uh, let's go back to the start of this and take a look at a couple of key points I've noticed. So, LA. So that's obviously up by the Griffiths Observatory. Uh, that's downtown LA there. River is there. This looks almost the same. Obviously, I expect we're going to be seeing all the things that City Updates spy stock. Like, we'll see. I'm surprised we haven't had an LA one yet. Because LA is not great in places. But if we look in, in the foreground, you can still see that same sort of photometry rendered Google Earth pop-out style. The colouring looks very similar as well. And you can still see that... Ah, now I can tell you it's the same, the same sim. Look here. Look at that blasted line. Even in the developer's own release video. That horizon line there. Right along there. You can see it in a lot of areas in the sim. In current sim, this is the same game engine. It's got that stupid bloody horizon line there. Running right along there. <laughs> you see it in, in big terrain sometimes. But there's definitely way better lighting. That is the biggest thing I can see here. The lighting is significantly better. Um, other than some potted animations on him, you're not seeing a lot from him. So that's obviously maybe well included with the aircraft. Uh, water looks better. This could be a huge thing. Look at that water. Oh god, why didn't I mention this already? Look at the water. The water looks way better. We're seeing white caps. Oh man. Maybe they said, you know what, screw this. We, we can't really fix our horrible water in this sim. Make a new sim. Because <laughs> it seems that there's more interest in... Look at the... You saw the rope a second ago. 
There seems to be a bigger focus on making things behave right that aren't just the aircraft. So things attached by lines. Look at the water there. Look at the waves. The wave height is huge. Big wave height. That's interesting. Okay. Could there be a lot better fluid dynamics in this sim? This is cool. I love doing this kind of stuff. It's crazy and it's insane and it's fun. But it's cool. Now we've seen the same sort of behavior from grass before. But the water is what excites me and interests me the most. Because that definitely looks better. A lot better. The same textures. Ow, hitting my microphone. So we're seeing similar animations we see normally. We're seeing better lighting. We're seeing better water potentially. That could be a huge one. Uh, we're seeing missions. We're seeing career mode options. We're seeing possible pilot customization. And we're seeing other options. Now, let's have a quick look at the FAQ. Ha! Huh? Okay. Ha! Huh? So here's the FAQ. Now, we've got the short teaser trailer here. And it says, will it be completely standalone? Or will it be offered as a paid upgrade? Standalone simulator, next-gen sequel. Uh, is it going to be next-gen, really? I don't think it is. Is it going to be a full new sim you purchase? Most likely. Will all your stuff you've acquired for and used with this one work? Yes. Will a lot of people cry about it being 80 bucks? Whatever. Probably. But apparently some people do that when any game comes out. Like when Call of Duty released the next Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 1 remaster came out. Modern Warfare 2 remaster came out. People did not cry about Modern Warfare 2 remaster. They just bought it because they wanted to play it. Will I buy this? Yes. Do I think it's fair if it's a whole huge new game? Yeah, and we've had so many free updates this year. Since this sim came out, we've had a ton of free updates. I've gotten more than enough for my Premium Deluxe Edition. All those world updates are free. All those uh, aircraft at the 40th anniversary update. We've had tons of free things. I could afford to drop another little bit on this. Seeing as the amount of money we spend on aircraft and, and hardware, 100 bucks is nothing. I'll pay it. So, current aircraft... And airports that work in 2020, as well as virtually all marketplace add-ons, will work in 2024. Virtually all. Interesting. That may be if they don't bring them across to the new marketplace. So the virtually all marketplace add-ons, that may be a caveat that not every developer will bring their stuff to the new sim. Possibly. What kind of support will this get? Uh, 2020 will continue to get uh, updates. Aircraft and avionics, sim updates, city and world updates, and June DLC. Don't care about the June DLC. Those continue to support 2020, so you've still got that if you don't want to upgrade. Will all uh, purchases users have made from the marketplace be transferred to a new simulator? With very few exceptions, virtually all add-ons. That's again the caveat. I think that's more of a safety caveat than anything definitive. Will function. Basically, the mechanics of the aircraft will work, and I'm pretty sure that works in every case. Add-ons that were purchased in the instant marketplace will need, not need to be repurchased. That's important. If you bought it in the instant marketplace, it counts. Now, what about outside sim places? We will have to wait and see what people like Sim Market and, and Orbex and other companies, um, Just Flight, others, say about their launches. Will they package things with new installers for 2024? We will have to wait and see. But I suspect you will need to get a new installer or manually put stuff in. We don't know yet. We'll find out more in the coming days. We don't know a ton yet, but we do know a bit, and I think it's interesting to find out where this will go. My interpretation is this is like a P3D level jump. We're seeing a new version. It might need new installers for some stuff, but it's essentially the same thing, just with better updates to graphics and functions. I think at its core it's very similar, but I think they're going to be ripping some things out and rebuilding it. More that 2020 was good, but it could be better. I think this is a... Okay, 2020 is good, but we did screw up a bunch of stuff here. Let's wipe the slate. Let's, let's rip out the things we wanted to rip out and give it its own brand new step. We'll have to find out. Well, that is everything from my trailer breakdown. I, I think I'm pretty happy with those insights, and I think my predictions may well hold true there. Um, I'll put some money on it, maybe. We'll see. But I'm open to things being different and things being wrong, perhaps. So we'll have to find out. But I'm excited. I hope you are too. And uh, roll on 2024. It's one of the first big releases where it won't go console exclusive for a year first. Cough, cough, GTA 6. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.